Hello everybody, Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and welcome to my review of the LEGO Creator 2019 Winter Village Set. This is the 10267 Gingerbread House with 1,477 pieces. In the United States, this is going to cost you $100, which is a pretty fair price for what you get, in my opinion. We'll talk about that more later in the video. If you guys enjoy the review, make sure you leave a like. On the right side of the box, it's going to give you the dimensions of the Gingerbread House, which is admittedly a little bit smaller than I expected. We also have the light brick and it's labeled expert for creator expert with the cool little logo there the top of the box is going to give you a parts list for every part inside of the set just kind of a good way for them to fill space on there we have the gingerbread lady on there in the actual size and the back side of the box is of course going to show you all of the features of the gingerbread house and what you can do with all the characters and the little light brick and stuff there so we'll take a look at all of that right after we take a look at the minifigures and instructions the instructions are actually two uh, separate manuals. The first one is just going to build basically the first bag and that is going to uh, include all the little accessories there. So you can maybe, uh, the best way I see this working out is if you have like a little kid that's like four years old and he wants or she wants to build part of the set while you build the rest of the gingerbread house, that is a good thing because the, it could take them a while and you know, you can get a lot done while they are doing the little small things trying to figure that out and goofing around. So that's the good side of that. So that is the creator expert instructions. Let's take a look at the minifigs. First up, we have the Gingerbread Man, who has a pretty awesome mustache, very nice uh, coloring to him, very consistent coloring, which is important. You can see his head has a separate color in the middle there, maybe some chocolate going on. Of course, the frosting used for uh, details like his clothes and such or whatever you have not much clothing going on but basically it would be the outline of his shirt i suppose and then you got a couple of gumdrops for buttons or maybe uh little candies or something i'm not really sure exactly what candy that would be but very interesting mold on the head here you can actually feel there's a little indent for the eyes you might not be able to see it uh very well on camera it's there it is definitely there and the head can spin just like a normal lego head you can see there very very interesting piece they've used it's kind of one of the cooler minifigures that Lego has made over the past few years, in my opinion. Gotta love the gingerbread man. We'll see a lot of the same on the gingerbread lady, except she has like pink for the inside of her gingerbread head. She's also wearing a little skirt or blouse there, which has some extra frosting on it. She's carrying a little milk cup or a sipper or something. I don't know what those are called because I don't have a child. And then we have a very interesting face print, little rosy cheeks. She's got some lipstick, much a uh, nicer look to her, I think, in the face. Just looks a little bit cleaner without the mustache. And then she's actually holding the gingerbread baby there, which is on like a little Hand, which is kind of interesting so very nice minifigures in this set kind of wish there was more like it's a winter village set i wish there were more like village goers for the gingerbread village but i i don't know it's not i guess it's a house so it kind of makes sense but i just wish there were a few more gingerbread characters in the set i think that would have been a little bit fun to get some weird one-off like gingerbread policeman type characters i don't know it could have been cool now, as I mentioned, the first instruction manual actually has you build all these outer accessories, starting with this little Christmas tree here. You can see it's got some very cool lights on it. It's got the star at the top using some very interesting pieces, which I think are from Lego Elves. So, gotta love a little Christmas tree build. Also, some presents to put under the Christmas tree, including a pretzel. Gotta love the pretzel. We have a rocking horse, which is awesome. It actually rocks. That's pretty dope. Gotta love a little Lego rocking horse. We have a small Lego truck, I believe, or a train. I think it's a truck. It looks more like a truck to me, but really it's up to the imagination. This is definitely a train. You can actually, I think, fit one of the gifts in the back there. If you're, if you're careful with this, you can have the train uh, using or running around with a gift on it. You also have this little baby carriage, which has cute little cookies on the side of it. You can fit the baby in here. You just take the one by two tile and drop it in there. And then the last little accessory bit you get is this snow plow or uh, snow machine. I live in Florida, so excuse me for not knowing the exact name of this thing, but it actually has a pretty cool design. You can spin this and it kind of eats up the snow and then the snow is supposed to blow out the side there, which they use that little smoke piece uh, very adequately there. You can see little uh, blue and uh, pink gumdrops on the top there and the gingerbread man can actually hold on to the handlebars and push this thing around very very cool uh little extra builds included in the set gotta love them now the actual gingerbread house like i said it's a little bit smaller than i expected but it's actually not a bad size at all the theming of it is incredible i mean it's hard to put into words exactly uh how well they've done with getting the theming right you have all the little candies on the sides of the roof for the paneling 
you have little swirly candies on all of the points here. You can even see that on the side there and on the front here. You have a little reef above the door, which is properly colored green. And then we have a little sticker that says home sweet home. We have the kind of candy cane uh, colored uh, pillars here with little candies on top. We have very nice lamps, which are the least festive thing in the entire set. The lamps just actually kind of feel out of place. You have little candy canes here. We have one that says candy cane lane and then another one that's kind of uh, yellow and white instead of red and white, which is just kind of an interesting difference in color there. We have a huge chimney that runs all the way up, uh, which actually kind of feels out of place. It's the weird thing that kind of juts out of the front of the gingerbread house. It would have made more sense, I think, to me for it to go in the back, but it does serve a dual purpose. It actually uh, points inside and outside. So when you push down a little smoke on top, you're actually gonna be able to use the light brick that's in there that I uh, mentioned earlier in the video. So there's the light brick on, there it is off. Very easy to do. It doesn't stay in, but it does kind of click when it turns on. You'll hear it very easy. More of the candy cane colors there. They used a lot of the sparkle one by one bricks in this set, which is very cool in the pink and purple colors there. You can see the sparkles uh, in the windows. Those That's what they use for the windows. So that's kind of neat. A lot of snow also on top of the building, I think. That's what kind of creates this effect or what is supposed to, or what that is supposed to stand for. They actually do a great job shaping the roof as well around the chimney and around the other like contours of the roof. A lot of weird angles in this set. They, they were able to cut off very effectively. Have a little table out here for your two characters to eat lunch or dinner or breakfast at. A couple of logs and even an axe there to cut up the logs and put them into the fire. Like all the little details are here. We even have a little windowsill. Kind of a shame that the window can't open. Another door here with the reef above it. Green door can open just like the other one. It's going to be tough to close there uh, from the front side. you got to push it in from the back. But same kind of design that we saw up on the front side of the gingerbread house. Moving to the inside of the gingerbread house is where we have a ton of fun details. We have a little bed there, kind of made out of candy. We have what looks like a beehive, <laughs> a pink beehive piece for the top of the lamp there. You can see the inside of the windows, not as beautiful as the outside. Over here, we have my favorite part of the interior. It's a bathtub and a like uh, toilet. So it's a whole little bathroom assortment, even with little towels there, what I think are supposed to be towels on kind of the partition for the rooms. We have a little rug here, and I think this is supposed to be a, a crib for the baby. I think that's what that is up there. Very, very cute stuff here, though. Really love the bathtub, though. They even used the little chocolate-colored gold bars in there, which I love, so... Gotta love the bathroom for this set. Moving on down, we have a small little kitchen area off to the right here, which has little cookie bits, and we have a heart on the ground. I don't know why it's on the ground. It's actually supposed to be one of these accessories that go out with the rest of the set that goes kind of around the Christmas tree, but the floor actually has a really cool pattern to it with the teal and white uh, one by one plates or tiles rather in there with the darker blue around the outside of that. We have a little oven there, which actually has a clear panel on the outside so you can see what you're cooking. and. Hopefully you're not cooking the gingerbread baby, but he can fit in there. We have a pan and then we have what is supposed to be, I guess, the uh, the fan or I forget the real term for that. But basically the smoke, anything coming off the oven that you're cooking is supposed to be sucked up into that and then put out into the world. And we don't really have a uh, clear um, exit point for that, but I'm sure you can imagine there is one. You have a little log coming through the backside there as well. A little sink, and then moving over here, we have kind of a little living area. I found another hidden gift behind the chair, so that is also supposed to go out here. My apologies. Anyway, <laughs> I guess I stuffed some stuff in there. Uh, we have a little dresser type thing there with some drawers with the swirly things on them, and then we have a cookie on a plate with a Probably some milk for Santa Claus, I would assume. I think that's what they're trying to get at there. And again, we have a little entrance with the door and stuff there. Nothing really special off to the left. This very nicely built chair. And then finally, the fireplace from the inside with some stockings. And then we also have the gingerbread man, woman, and the baby. So cute. And then even some candles on the left and right of that for some ambiance. Now, again, the light is going to work on and off like that so that's pretty fun the light brick is stuck up in there and works very well so that is my overview of the gingerbread house now it's actually a very cute build this is probably one of the best uh lego winter village sets ever at least theming wise like it's just such a cool concept for a lego set and there's a ton going on here you have so many little accessories which i actually don't love when lego sets include so many 
things like this. It just, for me, display-wise, I really just want this and anything you can fit in it reasonably. Anything else that just kind of goes on the outside, uh, that stuff's probably just going to end up in a place that it shouldn't be, like in drawers and stuff. And that's just a shame to me because the gingerbread house will go right there on the shelf for me. But I don't know where to put the rest of that stuff, you know? There's just not space for it. So while I do like that they include it, it's not my personal favorite thing. Of course, you guys will have a different opinion on that, probably depending on what your use for a set like this is. But overall, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I think for $100, 1,477 pieces is an excellent deal. The actual set itself provides a fun build. It's, it's really engaging. It's one of the more fun Lego builds I've done in a while, especially with all the colors. It's so colorful and fun. And of course, it makes for a great display piece for the winter time. I kind of want to see them do more gingerbread type sets, although I kind of feel like this is going to be a one-off thing. I don't see where, I don't think we're going to see more uh, gingerbread vehicles or anything of that nature, although I'd love to see it happen in the future. Let me know your thoughts on this set in the comments section below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.